Hello and welcome to today's video. And uh, for the past few days, we've been working on the network analysis, and uh, we we'll probably will be able to finish up with uh, the network analysis using the shape files. So today, I will introduce us into um, preparing data for analysis, network analysis using uh, GeoDatabase. Right, so there are a lot of similarities you will find between the, the network that the uh, network analysis using the shapefile and the database. That's because the data are the same, but just that the method is a little different. So the database combine everything in one. The database is a container that contains your future data set and your future class in it. So the shapefile, whereas as you can see from this side, are just basically just create a folder and then you put them there so they're just a little bit of um difference between these two but there are a whole lot of similarities so let's get started with it by first we'll create um a geo database so you right click go to new and then you choose file uh, personal geo database so let's rename it and uh, we name it amac okay so you right click again and then you select future data set so let's name it network okay and let's use this coordinate system okay we'll finish then now we're going to export all of these these are the shape files we use for uh the network analysis using the shape file so what we'll do now for us not to create all of this again we're just going to export this into this so to start that i'll right click on amac export and export to geodatabase single and then the location and then network so the output now we type AMAC because it's coming from shape file to uh, future class. Okay, so that's done. We go back, just repeat the process for all of them. Okay, so I have a video comprehensively done for this whole thing, but I'm repeating it because uh, I assume it since it's a new video. I don't want us to I don't want to refer you back to the previous video. So okay, so hospital, you okay? <laughs> Alright, so the hospitals have come in. And then next we go to there are two hospitals anyway. The other one is just one uh, point. So let's export that also. So this will be host Peter, since we already have hospital already on it. All right, so if you clearly you see that this is the point. Okay, so the next will be hotel. So you right click, export to your database, and then it's going to be in network, and it's going to be hotel. It's just one hotel, I guess. Okay, it's done then. Uh, what next? The road, because we'll be needing the road. So, right click on the road and then we export again also to your database. And network, then we put it as road. Oh, sorry. Road, and then we OK. So this says there are many, it's going to take quite some time, but it will get done. Uh, the road has been completed, so it's been added. So um, next we have our, our residential, that's another vital stuff we need in in doing this so um
then we call it residential under the network analysis preparing network data using the show file we cover how we get these residentials from the view from the uh, from the polygon to the uh, the points we're having today and then also the road make the for us to make it usable in network analysis we also cover that in that video so the link to that video will be on the description this is also done so and then i think let's look at what else do we want okay let's check it out and then i think okay supermarket i think this is the last one so supermarket we export so that video covers um all of this so i am not going to go into that anymore since we've done that on that video so you could also use that video to um get how we get this done so that you will not get lost if you just watch this video okay so uh so there's also a comprehensive video on how to move between share file to future class and all that so basically this is how you could do that for network analysis so stay tuned for the next video we're going to cover how to build the network uh, data set using the geodatabase all right stay tuned and bye